lonely day. And when it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. Well, I guess you say what can make me feel this way? Rosemary. Rosemary. Talking about rosemary. Flowers. Hey, neighbors. How y'all doing? Hope all is well. It is Friday, y'all. It's definitely Friday. And it is cold outside. What's up, Bro Farm? What's up, Bro Farmer 76? Shout out to Bro Farmer 76. Shout out to GG Naturals. Y'all, please check them out. Pit Stop is definitely in the house. Welcome. Hello, beautiful people. Good to see y'all. Love Notes. How you doing? How you doing, Love Notes? I hope y'all had a great week so far. I know some of you all, y'all still kind of doing your work schedule thing. You still kind of going about your day. But um, it's a little hot up in here. It's warm in here. I got my turf, turf gear on. Y'all see my turf gear? Y'all check out turf. Therapy. I feel like Mr. Rogers in this camp. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? I have always wanted a neighbor just like you to be in the neighborhood with you. So let's grow on this beautiful winter's day. Let's enjoy this growth session. We might as well say, would you want to grow? Would you want to grow? Would you want to grow with me and my neighbor? Hey, neighbor, we're going to jump into this. I want you to type in your section, type in the chat. How many of you all are growing rosemary? Because that's what we're going to talk about today. We got some special guests in the house. We got not one, we got two, but we also have three rosemaries in the house. And we're going to plant together. This particular plant has kicked my butt for Mr. Robinson. I hear you. I hear you. So, I've been trying to grow this and I've been unsuccessful, but with your help, with your help today, these growth sessions, these are sessions where we learn together, we grow together. And it, it, it kind of baffled me so much. I got a lot of conflicting um, information. So what I did, I took some of the consistent feedback and some feedback that I got from other growers and I combined it. And so I want to do three experiments today. I want to do three. Everybody has a different strategy. So the research I did, rows, think about this. Petals on the paving slabs. How you doing, my friend? How you doing? Best yet, how you doing? What's going on, Lydia? Candice Container. I hope you got some knowledge to drop. Please drop some knowledge about growing this rosemary. But I got, before we get into growing this rosemary, I want to share something with you. During my research, I found out that this is a part of the mint family, which makes sense. The smell is amazing. I've been using rosemary for years, but I even eat rosemary. You also can, you know, they have the, the essential oils with the rosemary. It's been used for respiratory. It's been used for a whole lot of things. But my first question is, what do you cook? If you cook, if you if you cook a little something, you use rosemary. What kind of what kind of dish? What you cook rosemary with? I want I want to hear what, what y'all cook rosemary with. I cook it with chicken. What do you all cook it with? Let me take a look at the chat. I have a little one I started uh, from seed last summer. That's Candy's Container Garden. So I hope it's doing well. I hope it's still doing good. Turf, what's up? What's up, family? You know, the, the name Rosemary, do you, you know, I had to do some research because here I am, I'm putting myself out there. I'm finna get ready to grow this Rosemary. You're gonna see, you're gonna see some positive. You're gonna see some failures because like I said, I, I've been struggling with it. I've been struggling with it time and time again. 
but you don't cook. Somebody in your house cook. I seen your videos. All right, Pitch. Turf Therapy says my stomach didn't used to agree with rosemary until I started growing out. It's a difference. It is a difference between you buying something out of the store or even buying dried and you growing it on your own. I mean, I think that holds true to just about everything. Uh, and, and Turf, you and I, we talked about this. Sometimes you, you have something that you're growing that you really don't like, but then you grow it on your own. Then you say, what in the world? This, this is a totally different taste. I'm going to tell you something that's real different with the taste of tomatoes. Oh, my goodness. If you grow your own tomato, it tastes totally different. Your fruits, the citrus taste totally different. Tastes totally different. Stew. So, so, so you cook it with stew. You put rosemary in your stew. Uh, I do chicken, uh, mushroom. Don't 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 get me to try to say what that is. Mushroom ris risotto, risotto. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Let's see what else. What else? Um, petals, petals on the pavement slab says mushroom. Yeah, there you go with that word again. Ris I'm thinking it's risotto. Yeah, yeah, sounds great. Oh, you're right. It sounds great. I just don't know what it is. Um, I gotta Google that. So when I get off, I'm definitely gonna Google that and check that out. Some people says that they, um, let's see, I use it with all meat. Oh, it's moving. Let's see. Soup, stocks. And it goes very well with plain old roast potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people use it with fish. Uh, I've heard dishes where they, they eat like it's a, a pork chops, turkey, a lot of that stuff. But the, the name rosemary is two words, and it's they're Latin words. The, the, the rose aspects mean do. Now, this helped me. When I did the research to find out <laughs> what the name, it was like, da, this now makes sense. So the rose part is do. And then the, the Mary part means it comes from the sea. So it... The native where it derives from is the Mediterranean. It's a Mediterranean plant and they didn't water it. The reason why they call it dew from the sea, the dew from the sea would naturally water it. So that's the key. That was like a light bulb popped in on my head when I when I realized that uh, I don't need the water. I've been over watered. That's one problem that I did. Too much water. So and you all gave me so many good suggestions. I, I heard so many people say, just plant it and leave it alone. Plant it, leave it alone. So I'm going I'm going to I'm going to take this one right here. One welcome. Welcome to the fam. I'm not going to do nothing with this one. This is the one I'm not going to do anything with. I'm just going to leave it in the pot. And I'm not going to water it a lot. I'm going to leave it in this pot and I'm not going to water it a lot. Now the other two, I got some other suggestions strategy. I want to try it with you all today and, and I'm going to fix it up. Um, and, and we're going to take a look and see, does it really work? We're going to follow this journey. Another thing, uh, let, let's see what let's stew. We, yeah, we cooking with stew. And then we have um, Mr. P. Mr. P and how I know Mr. P get down. So, so Mr. P need to tell me what, what he cooks with. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I got um, I got a lot of things that that rosemary is good for. Did you know that rosemary is good? It's an anti-inflammatory type herb. So if you have a lot of inflammation, arthritis, a lot of flare-up, let's talk about inflammation because one thing you'll learn if you can control your inflammation, you can control. It, it's like a domino effect. So so let's talk about inflammation and antioxidant. So it gets rid of all those impurities out of your body. So think about this, your arteries, your cells, they, they begin to regenerate. They got less work to do. If it's getting rid of all the negative pieces in your life, it's getting rid of everything. Another thing is if this is an anti-inflammatory herb, which a lot of them are, guess what happened? Your blood flow, your circulation starts to do better. Everything, your cell generation, your body's tends to work a whole lot better. So blood pressure goes down, of course. Next thing you know, uh, they say also it has benefits uh, with your brain. I mean, did you know that they, they've used this for Alzheimer's patients to slow down the process? 
or even if people have a history of Alzheimer's, a lot of them incorporate this into their diet and it slows down the process. I mean, it's studies that show this, but it is, it's actually a great herb. It's an awesome herb. I really want to encourage you to think about growing this herb into your garden, incorporate it into your garden. Even if you're not growing, add this to your diet. This can be very beneficial long term. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just listening to the word of mouth and the word of mouth is so consistent. And like I said, I always ask anything I say, don't believe me, confirm it. Whatever I say, don't believe me, but confirm it. And if I invoke a thought in your head, a thought in your process of thinking, and then you go research it and then you learn something, I've done my job. I've done my duty. So let's start. Let's start with the next strategy. I really couldn't find too many. Uh, so I went into the, the pet uh, section of Walmart because someone said, take this and mix in your mix add rocks to your mix so if this i'm gonna try to take this and add some rock content they said about 50 percent 50 50. so that's gonna be experiment number two the first one is the other one of course i'm still not gonna water i'm gonna water all of these the same i'm not gonna change i'm not gonna water them a lot but then i'm gonna mix these rocks in with this. So that's 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 experiment number two. And then we go into the third one. This third one, I was told, which I got some somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. I was told to take peat moss and mix this with the soil with peat moss and leave it alone. So that's experiment number three. And then what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna to try to keep them in the same environment. So I, I, I bought me a hand a grow light and my budget version, I should say. So I got, got me a shop light, adjustable, works. And then I got this right here. Y'all can see this. I have me a LED grow light. This LED grow light, I'm just gonna simply take this here Screw this in here. Yeah, I know it's on the budget, but we all good. It's all good. Broke farmer rubbing off on me. Why spend all that money? And then I got another tote right here, big tote. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply take this tote, take it on the edge, lay it down right there. And that's going to be my grow light garden right there for my rosemary. And I'm going to have that one where I'm leaving alone, another one where I add the rocks, and then the other one where I add some peat moss. And I will give you a video update because I'm not going to waste your time with that. I just want to come in and please tell me, what do you all do with your rosemary? I'm just curious. If you're growing rosemary, what do you do with it? Italian rice style. Oh, oh, so I'm going to try to say that name again. Risotto Ros is fancy rice. Oh, why do you say rice? Mushroom. Okay. All right. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm learning. We all learning together. This is a growth session. We all growing together. Hey, OCD is chick. Hello, family and homestead. Greetings. Greetings. The everyday life of an OCD chick. Let me make sure I say that right, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chop it up. They don't let light wet feet, okay? You know, this explains why I do well during the winter, spring, and then one thing about my zone. I'm in zone eight B, North Panhandle area. During the summertime, it's hot, it's humid. And when, when it's not 2020, but normally we get rain every single afternoon. And I'm talking about we get a lot of rain. I mean, I, I've been unsuccessful with um, growing this in the summertime because I, I normally do fine throughout the winter. 
And then um, I, it just kind of messes up after then. Let's see what we got. Close it. <laughs> hey, hey, Sticky Porter Ranch, how you doing? You know, I love to say that name. I love to say it. My little brother keeps killing Roseman. Yeah, yeah, I keep killing. You're right. Let's see. I kill my rosemary by watering it too much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it was like epiphany. With your feedback, with everybody telling me, because some people were saying maybe it's my grow zone, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. They said these things can get up to like five feet tall. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I mean, I do pretty good with growing, but I kept trying to figure out what's going on. And I think I fertilized it too much, too. Um, you know, I saw it going through stress which I didn't realize it was the water, but I saw it going through stress and then I started trying to feed it. But I'm also told, and I think that's the rationale with these rocks. Somebody told me to put some rocks in there because apparently it it, it, it flourishes in an arid area. Like, like it, it, it loves challenges, almost like the Moringa. The Moringa does not like to be baby. It wants you to kind of abuse it in a way or just, just let it just go out there and do what it do. One thing Moringa do not like is a lot of extreme cold weather. Uh, but my Moringa that I put in the ground, it grows well. Uh, even in the cold, it loses everything. But normally what I try to do is mulch everything up. But this this, this one particular, there's two uh, Moringa trees that's pretty much, they get, I let them get probably about max eight feet tall and then I, and I chop them because I like to harvest the leaves and then it makes it a whole lot more bushier. Let's see, short fat rice. So the rice is short and fat. So, okay, I got you know I got I got to check it out. I like rice. I like cooking with the rice. So, uh, what what do you do? You do the mushrooms. You do the rice, and you might add a little chicken to it, dish or just one of the dishes. I'm I'm just trying to vision. You know, is it a sauce with it? You know, how do you, how else do you cook it? Elevated landscapes. Welcome. How you doing, neighbor? I used to make a herbal hair oil. See, okay, okay. Now I know my wife uses it. Gigi, she uses it in her soaps. She also uses it in her hair, um, like she used the oils and everything like that. So yeah, that is a good use. That is a good use using it for your hair, because like they okay. Let me, let me list some of the things that they say that it's packed with. It's packed with vitamin A. It's packed with magnesium. It's packed with vitamin C and B6. So B6 alone is good, period, for energy, um, cell rejuvenation, all of that stuff, skin. So I, I can see how, how um, it can strengthen as uh, far as your hair. And you just want to go out and just smell. You can, you can use that as well. Yeah. So so Gigi says um, I use it in my soap and on my scalp. Stinky put a ranch. Rosemary is also good for bug control in your garden. Got to try that because we got mosquitoes and man, some of them can pick you up. It even helps repel mosquitoes. OK, I got it. Gigi. Put that on our list. I know I know you'll be making these concoctions and they're getting better and better. I can't wait till you just land that thing because uh, actually that last concoction you made, I was able to survive uh, on the right path. It improves memory. You're right. You're right. Every, everyday life of a man, I'll be trying to say, can I just call you an OCD -ish chick? Can I just call you that? Because um, my tongue gets dry by the time I, I, I say that whole name right there. But yes, it is. It is. It, and, it, and they say that it call, I mean, it has a protection to your brain. It actually slows your brain down for, for, from deteriorating. So can you imagine that? Love to cook with it. Great tea. Herbal tea. Definitely herbal tea. It's definitely good because it's in the mint family. This is a part of the mint family. So this uh, is also good for, um, I heard it's also good for 
for breath too, bad breath. So, you know, that's good. If you got a coworker that kind of got a little hot flaming breath, you can kind of give them this, bring it to the office and, and just give them a gift and just let them know, hey, that's a good idea. So I rub it, I rub it on, on my skin when I'm in the garden, it helps with the mosquitoes. I gotta do this. I gotta try it for mosquitoes. Thank you, pedals on the paving slide slab. Thank you. So I like I said, I really didn't want to hold you too long, but I just wanted to kind of share this with you. I want to encourage you to try to grow some rosemary and make sure y'all just incorporate this and let's go on this journey together. If you want to, um, I'll put down in the description below some of the strategies, some of the things I'm going to do. Uh, and then uh, I will I will provide more updates as we move on and I'll share some of these things with you. And hopefully we can grow together. This will be a great little project. We can grow together if, even if you want to just try one. Or you could probably break this apart. Yeah, it's more than one in here. Or you can even do some clippings. Buy one and do some clippings. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. And, and share with me your successes and share with me some of the things that you're doing to keep it. And I also heard that if you if you trim it from time to time, whenever you are um, growing it, it promotes growth as well. But that's almost with every kind of plant. If you can trim it periodically and harvest some of it. You know it promotes growth so i definitely be utilizing that as well and let's see in the chat if i don't see too much what's up farmer q what's going on farmer q i saw you got that live getting ready farmer q can't wait to see when you get it get it rolling man it did the tears aphids and cabbage moth so you think we can plant this like like we can plant this next to our cabbage and what you, you do? Is that what you do with the strategy? Do you kind of plant this next to your your cabbage? I have seen them get big and bushy. Yeah, this is what I would love to do. I would love for mine to get big and bushy. Uh, that's what I'm trying to achieve. But by the time it start growing, and and the summer hits, it's gone. But I got I got some for it. Is the panhandle in Florida? Yes, uh, we are. The panhandle is in Florida. It's kind of like from Panama all the way over to, you can probably say Perry, Florida. So all that is panhandle. We are in the, we are in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, we're just a little bit north. We're probably about, Tallahassee is probably about 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes to the coast. Well, you know, yeah, city. So. So we halfway between Pensacola and Jacksonville. That's the reason why it became the capital. I know y'all didn't come here for Florida history, but the people didn't want to travel that far. There was the, the main cities, all South Florida was all swamp land with no hardly no one there. They 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 called it unbuildable land. It was since it was number swamp swamps until they started building the canal. So if you ever travel down South Florida, you'll always see a bunch of canals and that's what they did. They just piped the water out for South Florida. And then that way they, they, they allowed the water to recede and then they were able to build upon that. Hence Miami, all of those South Florida cities. And then they was able to populate, but a long time ago, probably Gainesville, Ocala, round up in that way, just Orlando, a little bit North of Orlando. It was, Orlando really was nothing until Walt Disney came on the scene, but North Florida, uh, if you go, the, the bulk of the citizens that were there in Florida was in uh, Pensacola and Jacksonville. And so for the legislator, for the senators meet, they decide to make Tallahassee the capital of Cola and Jacksonville. And so that's, that's where Tallahassee came to be the capital. Because I know a lot of people say, well, why Tallahassee the capital when you got Miami, you got Orlando, you got Jacksonville, you got Pensacola, they, they, they a whole lot larger, Tampa. That's the reason why. Rosemary will grow between rocks. I'm going to see. We're going to see. We're going to all see. We're going to all see. So I agree. 
But the rosemary looks good in heat and cold. Okay. Vegas get too hot, so I have to shade it. That's why I'm, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. You know, when the when the when the weather gets a little bit warmer, I will bring these outside. But I, I'm definitely gonna make sure that when we have summer, I'm gonna put it in partially shade versus um putting it in the direct sun. And I think with me not watering it as often, that's going to be very beneficial because we got a lot shaded area in our backyard. So I'm definitely going to do that. Thank you for that info. Rosemary definitely loves well drains. The key, Pa, Ben, Jarrell. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Much love, Mighty Lion. I'm going to call you Mighty Lion. Bear with me. But thank you for that info. Some people say they had an oil. So Lion Crest, Outdoors Garden. Let's see, any more suggestions? Y'all give me some suggestions, let's see. It said that Rosemary healed our daughter. Yeah, it did, it, it, healed, it healed our baby girl. That's what you use. I just knew you put some, some some grease on her head. I didn't know what it was. Let's see. Leg of lamb was on sale here, and I will be making a rosemary rub. That sounds good. Man, it sounds good. I got to dry mouth too. Man, I got to wipe my that. That'll be good right about now. Let's see. Yeah. I know y'all laughing at me because I can't pronounce these people's name, but I, I got love for them. I might can't pronounce your name, but I, I know them say, what's up? What's up, neighbor? What's up, bro? What's up, cuz? You know, I, I, I'm I sorry. I'll be beating your name down. That's going to taste good. Yeah, that's going to taste good. Okay, y'all. I just wanted to share that with you. I'm not going to keep you long. Cause I want you to enjoy your Friday afternoon and I appreciate you took the time out of your day to sit with me and to talk about this beautiful thing called Rose, Rosemary. Just remember, this is what I'm going to remember as I grow it. Do from the sea, do from the sea. That's going to remind me, don't overwater this plant. Keep it well drained because one of the growers, AJ, he told me to try it with rocks. I got to incorporate rocks. And then the other one, uh, some other people said, just add some peat moss, which makes sense. Peat moss, aeration, um, allow the water to just kind of flow through. Going to put in my Roman. <laughs> yeah, you grow too, baby. But thank you all. Thank you all for, for checking in. Hope y'all have a beautiful, amazing weekend. And don't forget, whatever you do, grow. Y'all be well, y'all.